G'day guys, today we're going to have a chat about simple interest. Now we're going to do it in the context of a question and then once I've done the question we're going to um, see how it relates to the other type of interest which is compounding interest. Now suppose you've got a, um, a bit of a business idea where you're going to buy a cheap horse and you're going to turn it into a racehorse and you know for one, one reason or another you don't have the money to buy the horse. So basically what happens is normally you will trundle along to a bank, here's the Monopoly guy, and you'll ask them ask to borrow the money. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see how much this is going to cost us to borrow over the term using simple interest. Now, we talk to our bank manager and he tells us that we can borrow the $14,000 for the horse. At 6%, we have to pay him each year for nine years. So what's, what's actually going to happen here is we're going to receive at the start, so he is going to pay us $14,000. And then we're going to go out and buy our horse. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to then pay him back. So this would be at like the year zero, so at the initial time, so t equals zero. What we're going to have to do is we have to pay him back, obviously, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pay him back 6% every year for nine years. And we're also going to have to pay him back because he'll want his money back. At the end of the loan, we have to pay him his $14,000 back. So this 6% for nine years is we are paying the Monopoly man for the right to have the money. So he's not going to just give it to us for free. He's going to give it to us, but he's going to expect us to pay him some kind of what we call in finance a return on his investment, which is him lending you the money. So to calculate how much interest we're going to have to pay, what we're going to do is because simple interest, we have a fixed value every single year or every single time period. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out what 6% is of $14,000. So we're going to go fourteen thousand times six percent, which as a fraction is going to be six over a hundred, and that's going to equal fourteen times six is eighty four. It's going to be eight hundred and forty bucks. Yep. Cool. So basically, this 6% for nine years, we're going to have to pay him nine lots of 840 bucks. Cool. So if we times that by nine, like we're done up here, so so in the eight years, we're going to have to pay him back $7,560 in interest. So basically, what we then would have to do is we'd have to pay him back the 14000 as well. So, but what we've, what we have to calculate is we have to calculate how much interest we're going to pay for nine years. So the amount of interest that we're going to earn is 7,560. So there is a formula that we can use to calculate this quickly if we understand what we're doing here. Now we can calculate the simple interest 
that we're going to have to pay using this formula. The principal times the rate times the time. Now, the principal in our case was 14000 Now the rate is the percentage interest rate as a fraction. So in this case, it was 6 over 100. And the time is the number of periods, or in this case, the number of years, which was 9. So you can see if you plug all of these in, this will the simple interest again will come out to be simply $7,560 over the nine years. Okay, so if you would like, I will put a link in this video to the compounding interest part of the same question, but for now, this is basically what simple interest is all about. There's not that much to it. You're simply getting a fixed amount for a particular period and it's up to you to make sure that you plug in the right values into this small formula here and you will eventually well you will come out with the right answer now the last thing this is not what has to be fully paid back just while I remember because what you're also going to have to pay back is you're going to have to pay back the, so let me just write it down here, the payback is you're going to have to pay back the simple interest, which is what we've calculated here, plus the original principal. So, basically what we have to do now is we're going to have to just add back on the principal that we borrowed because we're going to have to pay him that back right at the end. And if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be equal to 21560 dollars. Okay, so it's not really that complicated. Maybe that's why it's called simple interest. But, you know, if you get... Um, some kids will make the mistake of they won't plug in the um, rate as a fraction or a decimal. They'll plug it in as a straight percentage. They'll just plug in six, and they'll get a number that's far too high. So, yeah, I hope this video helped. And stay tuned for the... Um, same question using compound interest.